with the Philadelphia Business Leaders video series. And today, my guest is Ann Gordon, Senior Vice President of Marketing, Media, and Communications with the Philadelphia Eagles. Welcome to our show. Thank Ann. you. Pleasure to be here. Let's start by talking about your career journey and how your path has led to your current position as Senior Vice President of Marketing, Media, and Communications with the Philadelphia Eagles. Well, I have a career path that isn't really very typical. I would say that most people who are working for professional teams have a degree in sports marketing, sports uh, in their background via internships and others. So mine is more of an exception. Um, I have a background in journalism. 25 years as a journalist, uh, ended my career as managing editor uh, of the Philadelphia Inquirer and vice president of news for the Philadelphia Inquirer. Uh, that included all of their internet operations at the time, their mobile applications and philly.com. So the reality was that what I had an expertise in was media. Uh, at the time when social and everything was beginning to really boom, the NFL is transitioning and understanding that they needed to have robust media uh, departments in operation at the same time. I was able to uh, begin a conversation with the Philadelphia Eagles about helping them build out what is in essence become an internal media company uh, and how that might work and how it might best function with the integration of all the departments uh, that are involved in that process. Since then, the NFL itself has begun to begin to ask all of its teams to think in this way. So there have been some recent hires of other people with only media backgrounds into the NFL so that they can begin to bring that information in instead of relying on the people who were only in the NFL who may or may not have the outside experience in media, social, digital, print. Okay. In your position, what are some of your major responsibilities? You know, I would say that my major responsibility is getting all of our groups to work together, to think about what the right hand and the left hand may need, how we're communicating. When I use shorthand to describe my job, I say that I'm responsible for everything that's outward facing for the Philadelphia Eagles. So that can be everything from our annual advertising campaign to the way the game day experience is filmed and seen and experienced by fans in the stadium. Uh, it means our public relations efforts, both our business operations and our football operations, our community efforts, how we're integrating with the community, how we understand and relate to our community from a political point of view, a political leadership to community leadership. So really, my job is integrating those forces and making sure that we best represent the true self of the Philadelphia Eagles to our community, our fans, and our audiences. How do the policies and protocols established by the National Football League for media relations, marketing, and promotion affect the communications game plan of the Philadelphia Eagles? Well, that's an interesting question when it comes to the NFL. Um, basically, I recently learned that years ago when NFL was just sort of starting, and not even the NFL at that time, the, the various leagues, they began to understand that if they called a press conference, people would come. And once the media began to come, they started to get more uh, audience. People read the stories. People wanted to go to the games. And there's a real correlation between openness and transparency with football fans, present or future football fans, and the growth of the league. So as a result, the league itself mandates uh, in-season times when the coach must address uh, the media, when players must be available to the media. And so there's always that structure, but within that we do so much more. So I recently took some time a couple of years ago to look at the total number of interviews that the Philadelphia Eagles had granted. And it was a little over 3,000, something like 3,150, let's just say. Then I looked back at every presidential press conference that they had kept records from, and it went all the way back to Calvin Coolidge. During the time it was after President Obama's most recent State of the Union address, so for January of 2015, fewer. There were like 100 press conferences fewer for the President of the United States than an NFL team held in the course of one year. So that is a lot of media interaction for our public relation teams, our content teams to handle and process. 
it's a variety of different individuals, a variety of different media, a variety of different topics. Could have crisis management in that, could be features, could be a variety of a variety of different elements. So it is a robust and full um, full unit that has demands on it that are probably unlike anything else in most uh, corporations, public, private operations in this country. Working in media, marketing, and communications for a sports organization, what would you say are some of your, your challenges? I would say our challenge is keeping our own media robust so that we can get our message and our communication straight to the fans, so that we can inform them, we can entertain them, we can engage them without having, go, having to go through traditional media in any sorts of way. On the other hand, we want to make sure that our, our game, our players, our messages are heard by as many people as possible. So it's managing those two things. Um, I think the spotlight on the NFL and on professional teams in general is beyond the scale of what most people uh, can appreciate. So that is, that's a lot to manage and to make sure that, as I said when we started, all of our various components, our various parts, our various elements of who we are as the Philadelphia Eagles are reflective of our true nature uh, as citizens, uh, as employees, as an organization in general, and as a football team. So that's something that we're always talking about and always working with, because this is a very, it's a wonderful place to work. Uh, and I just need to always make sure that we're showing our best side because it's a terrific opportunity for people. Well, you said this is a wonderful place to work. So what would you consider to be the best part of your job? What inspires you here? Well, I think that's a, I have two answers to that question. One is you never know what the day is going to deal you. So I enjoy that. I like uh, being involved in an ever-moving, constantly dynamic situation. So I think that that's important. The second thing is, is I have an opportunity here to help people in this organization grow and learn more about their jobs, the world around them, how they can be better in their jobs as they expect to progress uh, through the organizational ladder, and that's very rewarding for me as well. As a senior executive with the Eagles, mm -hmm. are you involved in the decision-making process surrounding uh, player personnel issues or the long-term strategic planning agenda set forth by Jeff Lurie and the ownership of the Eagles? Well, there's all, really two questions in that question. First of all, in terms of football personnel decisions, no. That is really the coach's territory or the general manager's territory, depending on what aspect of, of the team uh, you're talking about. However, if there's a crisis involving a team member, uh, our groups are definitely involved in trying to help. Um, second part of that, though, is the long-term strategic agenda. Absolutely. Um, there's a group of senior vice presidents that work closely with the president, who works closely with Jeffrey, and we're constantly talking about our organization, how do we grow, how do we get better, how can we support football, how can we support the community, how do we, how do we move forward. Looking back on your experience, your successes, your journey, what advice can you give to business administration students who mm -hmm. are pursuing a career in sports marketing? You know, I think the best advice I can give is to be really good at one area, one topic. Um, you know, I, I, I refer to it as sort of getting your PhD in one particular area. If that's sports marketing, then perhaps you want to know everything you can about media operations. If that's uh, something that you want to do on the corporate sales side, then understand the best sales techniques, understand what's happening in sports marketing to a high degree. So focus where you want to be, and then learn the most about that particular area. Uh, one of the things about sports that a lot of outside groups don't understand is it's really multiple businesses bound together. So you have a maintenance, you have a facility operations business, we have landscapers out front that are working here, everything from there to uh, complete, we have food service, management, liquor licenses, all of those, so we're almost a restaurant business. We have ticket sales outside events that don't have anything to do with football that we're operating with. We have a core group of customers which are season ticket members, which have to be managed in terms of customer relationships, all of those different sorts of things. 
As we're discussing here, we obviously have media, marketing, public relations, and community relations departments, so all very different aspects bound together by the commonality of the football team and the community with which we live, but with very different skill sets in each one of those, in those areas. So take a little time, focus on what you're looking for, become a real expert in that area. What are some of the opportunities for internships and employment with the Philadelphia Eagles, particularly in media, marketing, and public relations? Well, this, uh, again, as we just said, there's a variety of different departments, so it really varies by different department. In general, uh, the organization has a very good uh, plan. They hire recent graduates. They work from May, uh, from May to February. They are full-time jobs. Um, they, we then really evaluate that person at the end of that time to see if there's an opening we have in the organization that they might fit. Uh, if not, they leave the organization with one year of a real job under their belt, usually good recommendations and an opportunity. It says they have the NFL or the Philadelphia Eagles on their resume. So that's generally a step up. We have some seasonal opportunities, uh, but they're with varying different groups. They might be with ticketing or something like that. Uh, but it, it's a very good program. It's easy to access. Uh, you can learn more about it on the website. It's, um, it's a robust program. Thank you for Appreciate participating it. in our show today, and thank you for watching.